Hello, Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux fans. It's your boy Napalm Dawn here on G4G. Hope everybody had a happy, merry Christmas Kwanzaa. Hanukkah McQuanzaa over the holidays. Happy holidays, everybody, and a happy new year that will be coming up shortly. So, let's get right into it. I have a Marvel Duel update video. That I was supposed to render before I went out to the coast for a few days. I didn't. I tried to render it through TeamViewer. Um, while I was out at the coast by TeamViewering the computer that has my recording software on it. And unfortunately, for some reason, it kept timing out. And then it wouldn't let me connect again. I, I don't know. TeamViewer was being screwed. But I was able to control my main PC just fine. Uh... So, yeah, that video has been recorded and is now a little bit behind. It's going to make reference to Christmas Eve and everything, and it won't be Christmas Eve anymore. Uh, but the video that you guys really wanted to see was some news about Marvel Avengers Lines Redux. Now, um, earlier in the month, it looked like Goofy was going to release Beta 4 here on uh, Christmas Eve. That didn't wind up happening. It is delayed slightly. Your next question is going to be, well, how long will it be delayed? I don't really have an answer for that. I'd say hopefully by New Year's, New Year's Eve. I, I cannot guarantee that. I'm not goofy. He hasn't really updated us on it yet. He did say that he's been doing a ton of work and he's been getting through it quickly. So chances are the thing that he has delaying it uh, could be resolved quickly. But I don't want to put dates in his mouth over here so the next question and i'm gonna do this in every goddamn video until people stop asking about it no there's not going to be a mobile version for it this is strictly for devices that can run shockwave flash files so that is potentially mac os and obviously windows computers also linux computers for macs probably the best way to do it is through a windows emulator and run the executable in light of the fact that we do not have news on the newest beta we do have the christmas charlie brown spectacular of the new content that is going to be released when uh redux eventually gets to that point so what exactly is that so when goofy releases redux it's going to follow the general progression the general theme of Marvel Avengers Alliance when it came out back in 2012. Season 1 will be out. And Season 1's characters with the slow ramp up of the characters that we got in that like first year or so of the game. It will be sped up slightly. You're not going to have to wait three years to start getting the worthy and like Cloak and Dagger and everything. Um, but it will be at a pace that ensures the content team can start having a nice big backlog of art and story and script and plot and all that that they can put in the game and they will have new content going forward so in case you weren't aware of that yet not only are you going to get season one and two and all those spec ops and all those pvp seasons and everything you're also going to get the covert ops that were in the game and you're going to get these new things called one shots that are sort of like a like a backstory or a flashback for a particular character um i i'm going to pull uh, just a say i was in the game in some way i'm the hero mr napalm or something like that but the game never really established like how i got my powers or something so maybe there will be this one shot that explains some interaction between Mr. Napalm and the evil doctor who injected me with the serum that gave me my powers. So that's kind of the function of what a one shot will be. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some of the new content that the content team has released that is going to be part of Season 3. So first, this post on Christmas from Caleb will describe kind of what's going on for Season 3. A message from the MAR Writers Group. Season 3 takes up where Seasons 1 and 2 left off and goes further than you could have ever imagined. In Season 3, players will be able, will be able to fight battles in interstellar space, 
tangle with alternate versions of your favorite heroes, fight a multitude of new villains, visit new dimensions, fight aliens outside of just the Triskelion, the Trisket. By the way, does anybody else think Triscuits are like horribly dry? When I eat a Triscuit, I feel like it sponges up all of the moisture within a five mile radius around me. It probably, you could throw a Triscuit at Hydro Man and it'd probably ruin his day for life. Triscuit. I like weed things. Anyway, fight aliens outside the Triskelion and battle Hydra in the streets of Washington, D.C. Defend the world from the dark hold. Explore an expanded simulator. And much, much more. We anticipate you'll be able to play Season 3 shortly after Seasons 1 and 2 are released. And we've already begun walk working on Season 4. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Good Yule. Happy Gita Jayanti. I probably said that really wrong. I combined what sounds like Gita as Indian and Jayanti as Kianti. Sorry about that. Uh, happy Newtonmas and happy holidays. Festivus for the rest of us was missing. Caleb, you disappoint many, many people by not including Festivus in there. I, I just hope you know that. I think there is... Uh, Gita Jayanti is a Hindu holiday. That's kind of what I thought. Yule is a Germanic holiday. Um, I mean, Yule Log, that's probably where that comes from. But really, Caleb, no Festivus for the rest of us. So discriminatory, my friend. Anyway, okay, so let's take a look at the art that has been released on Facebook around Christmas. So we have Agent 13. And as you can see, this is new and original content, not stuff that was, oh, maybe it was in the files, like the infamous Doctor Strange Spec Ops that supposedly all of the details leaked online about it. We never got it and all that kind of stuff with like Clea. Um, th that's not what this is. This is people doing new art for Redux when it comes time severely emulating the MAAA style and so that's her artwork that's what her sprite is going to look like here we have Balder with the correct spelling of it and that does bear a pretty good resemblance to the Balder that is now in Marvel Duel so that's really cool there we have a new Black Panther suit that will be honoring Chadwick Boseman, which also this art will appear in the game. Rest in power, Chad. And I'm going to go back to it over here. So this is the Black Panther modern suit. Uh, I can imagine this will be similar to his movie suit and maybe have the uh, physical energy absorption. And maybe a redirect. Uh, that gonna say that that looks like Surtur, but we've already had Surtur in the game, so I'm gonna check on that. Uh, that is Jotundar. You god, that is probably uh, E L J O T D N. Oh god, that's all right. Jotundar. Ah, crap. No, that doesn't sound right either. Um, yeah, the D-N-A sound over there, that one I, I admit I'm probably not that skilled with. Um, so there's two pieces of art for him. There's that one, which is his dialogue art, and that one is his sprite. This is Jennifer Kale, who is a sorceress if i remember correctly and i recognize that style that looks like jace's uh that seems to be her in-game sprite probably scarlet witch as a slight or at least a little bit of a scarlet witch there as a modified um that looks like it's maximus the man as a base and that is going to be multiple man Uh, this is going to be Muspel Migger. I'm, I'm probably butchering these Norse ones. This is really cool. 
Um, this really seems like it's taken Hellstrom's lava and flames cracking under the skin. It almost sort of has like a little bit of a tech look. The armor almost looks uh, tech to a certain degree. I like that. I like that weapon that's new and unique. A new Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Sif look. Uh, great coming soon work over there. And also that looks like it would lead into a recruitment dialogue. There's Black Panther. This is Multiple Man. Or no, I'm sorry. This one's Prowler. This is Rhino. Now, a lot of people have kind of complained over the years about Rhino not really being in Marvel Avengers Alliance the way he should have, considering he's such a component of Spider-Man's Rogue Gallery, and he was in the Spider-Man game. So we're finally getting Rhino. I know a lot of people have expressed excitement about that. This is... I mean, this is phenomenal. I, I, I totally would expect to see this up on Playdom's site uh, at, at if this was a coming soon for the game when it was actually live. This is, I mean, just phenomenal work over there. This is a Rufendir, which is, I think, a modification of the Spinning Bats. There's Sif again. Sif's Battle Sprite. Taser Face. Which means we should totally have an alternate uniform for him that was Scrotum Head. Uh, this is Triton Man's Punch animation. Um, which, again, I, I mean, it's amazing that we have people on this team that are able to create a unique character like this and also get an animation with it. There is Triton's look without an active GIF on it. And that is it for the art that they have been talking about. So you're probably wondering a few things. Who is Jennifer Kale? <laughs> no, not rando people. So Jennifer Kale goes with man thing. That's that's the one thing that I definitely remember. Uh, with her is that she goes with man thing in the back of my head. I'm thinking swamp thing. I'm like no, nah, that's DC, but yeah, she is tied to Man thing now. I, I cannot say whether or not we will see man thing in the game even if I do know that he's appearing in the game um, I would not be speaking of it, but if you're unfamiliar with Jennifer Kale she is uh, a sorceress essentially soul body and mind uh as coming through psychic resources she has a psychic link with man thing hell maybe one of her moves the way uh miss marvel summoned lockjaw maybe she will summon man thing as a uh as a summon over there now let's see marvel, marvel triton The battle against evil is everyone's fight, even an inhuman has a code to live by. So he is an inhuman that is dealt with, it looks like, the Fantastic Four. I admit, I know, like, nothing about him, but he does seem to be tied to the secret, uh, the secret evasion. Superhuman strength, speed, stamina, agility, reflexes, aquatic vision. And I do believe everything that got talked about is up on the new wiki. And I'm going to go back over to Facebook and get a link to that. Because over on the wiki, it will talk about the classes. So Agent 13 is going to be an infiltrator technician who can shift to a tactician infiltrator. And Jace Lightborn was the one who had done uh, that particular art over there. Definitely recognize the style. After my cat Arthas had passed away, 
he took one of the more recent pictures of Arthas that I had up and um, drew some art uh, concerning Arthas for me. And let's see, uh, somewhere we have... Actually, I might have it on Discord. Here it is. Copy link. So if you go to Avengers Alliance Redux.fandom.com, this is the new wiki that takes the place of the old MAA wiki. And over here in the announcements section, you'll be able to see the first release of characters that were talked about and now the newer release. So Stature, by the way, is now over Marvel Strike Force. And it's trying to get there. So it looks like there's going to be a tall version of her and a big version of her. So you can find out some information about her over here. That's cool that, to see that she's in both games like that. So let's take a look at Baldur for example. Baldur is going to be a bruiser and there's some history on him. Now let's take a look at Agent 13 and there you can see she is a split class sort of like Hogun tied to shield and the secret Avengers and again as this gets closer and closer to when they'll actually be released uh, I'm sure these will get flushed out. Jennifer Kale is a blaster. Prowler is a infiltrator. And there's the modern Black Panther suit. There's Multiple Man. He was a villain. And here are some from the first content drop with Boom Boom, Ulick. And the Vulturians being out there. Also from the first drop, there is the Armored Constrictor costume for Constrictor. There's the Valkyrie based similar to the movie Valkyrie. Jubilee, Photon. If we take a look at Jubilee, she's a blaster. That's awesome sprite, by the way. This is another awesome one for Photon. Um... So you can come over here and see both the first and second content drop worth of information. And here we go. You know, again, in closing, don't ask when the next beta will be coming out. That is up to Goofy. And, you know, everybody deals with the holiday season over here. Some people are traveling. Some people are not traveling. And they're having their holidays um, over Zoom. And, you know, some people maybe are kind of stuck not seeing their, their family because of uh, dealing with the itis and everything. But uh, in terms of timing, just give Goofy time to go ahead and get information out there. We know he's active. Um, he's not disappeared or anything. So, we you know, we don't have to go finding him or anything like that. You still can do Beta 3 and Beta 2. If you want to see more about the UI or uh, character selection screens and research weapons, all that kind of stuff, you're going to want to look at Beta 3. If you want active combat where you're choosing your abilities and you're listening to the sounds and the visual, you're looking at the visuals of combat, pick up Beta 2. Beta 4, Goofy can say in his video over here what he plans to do with it. But I do believe we probably should have active combat again. Whether we have statuses and passive effects of like class bonus and whatnot. I believe that's what he's trying to work on right now. So again everybody. Happy holidays that you've had. Happy holidays that are coming up. Um, the, the next few videos on the channel. That personal video that I've said is going to be coming. Will be coming shortly. The Marvel Duel video was already recorded, so this one's going to go up and sit for a little while. And then the Marvel Duel video uh, will go up, or maybe I'll re-record it now that I know a little bit more. Uh, I, I actually, I think I'll re-record it since I actually know a little bit more about the whole Shield and Hydra thing. 
And uh, beyond that, not really too sure what topics I'm going to be tackling. Realm of Champions is now live already. They've gone after that one. And, eh, you know, interesting game. Uh, I still like it and, and get to play it at least once or twice a day because the things are fast. Still loving Marvel Duel, to be honest. Um, Marvel Strike Force is going okay. Future Fight... It's like pulling teeth to get me to do Future Fight during the day. And I still don't even know if the uh, if the boycott is going on. I mean, we've gone through Black Friday. Now we've gone through Christmas. I don't even know if technically the community thinks we're allowed to spend money now in Marvel Future Fight. And DC Legends, fortunately, didn't have any raids, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, Miles Morales apparently is 75% less sales than spider-man before it a couple of years ago and that's kind of that's a little sketchy so anyway happy holidays everybody have a good one